In this lesson, I'll show you how to graph polar equations using symmetry, and specifically here we'll be focusing on rows curves. The graph of r is equal to a times sine n theta and r is equal to a times cosine n theta, where a is not equal to zero, are called rows curves. If n is even, the rows has two times n petals. If it's odd, the rows has n petals. Examples of rows curves are shown here. The n value of this equation is two, 2 is even, so you take 2 times 2, and that's why you have 4 rose petals. In our case here, we have 3. 3 is odd, so you get 3 rose petals, and so on. The question reads, check for symmetry and then graph the polar equation. Let's start with symmetry about the polar axis. For this, you have to replace theta with its negative version. So we have r is equal to 2 times cosine negative 2 theta. Let's do a test to see if this alters the output, r. Let's say we have cosine of negative two times the angle pi. We end up with one. Now, if pi were negative, we still get positive one. So because the right side of the equation doesn't change, this means that this is symmetrical about the polar axis. Let's do a test for symmetry about theta is equal to pi over two or symmetry about the y-axis if this were in rectangular coordinates. To do this test, you have to replace theta with negative theta and r with negative r. So we have negative r is equal to 2 cosine negative 2 theta. We already discovered what happens here. The r doesn't change. Now because the left side and the right side of this equation don't match, this fails the test. And because it fails the test, it is not symmetrical about theta is equal to pi over 2, or the y-axis. Finally, to check for symmetry about the pole, we have to replace r with negative r. Negative r is equal to 2 cosine theta. Clearly our equation changes from being positive r to negative r, so it's not symmetrical about the origin. Now that we've performed these tests, we can go on and fill in this table. Remember the equation was r is equal to 2 cosine 2 theta. Using our calculator, make sure that your calculator is in radians, and it is. We have 2 cosine 2 times 0. That gives us 2. Now let's replace this 0 with pi over 6. We end up with 1. Pi over 3, negative 1. Pi over 2, negative 2. Remember that a negative radius will make the point shoot in the opposite direction. I'll demonstrate that in a moment. 2 pi over 3, negative 1. 5 pi over 6, that's positive 1, and finally pi, you will get 2. Now we can go ahead and plot these points, starting with 0 and 2, the point will be right here, pi over 6 and 1 is right here, I'll connect these, pi over 3 is negative 1, now normally if this were positive 1 it would be right here, but because it's negative, it's going to be in this direction pi over 2 and negative 2, pi over 2 is right here, negative 2 should be down here. Remember, if this were positive, it would be over here, but it shoots this way. 2 pi over 3 is over here, and it's negative 1, but it's going to be over here instead. 5 pi over 6 is right here, and it's positive 1. And pi is at radius of 2. Connecting these. Remember, according to the test, that it's symmetrical about the polar axis, this axis. Therefore, if I were to put a mirror along this axis, I would end up with another petal going like this, and the completed version of these two petals. We have four petals, and that was exactly what we expected, given that our n value, being 2, gets multiplied to 2, and you end up with four petals. And there you have it. That is how to graph polar equations using symmetry.